All right, guys, it is the start of day two, and it's a beautiful day. I'm here at a power line crossing. I had to get away from the interstate, excuse me, the parkway, because uh, this section of the parkway is used by morning commuters going to work. So it's about 7.30 now, people moving back and forth to work so anyway I've only walked about a half a mile to get to here but uh, the river was beautiful this morning I tried to come up and get a sunrise but wasn't wasn't much of a, a view this morning so anyway again started day two and uh, I plan on just over 10 miles today uh, we should put me back basically in Pat's back door so uh, hopefully today I won't be thumbing on the side of the parkway to get back to my car so anyway we are off and I'm out Right, guys I've been about two miles and now I'm at a interstate crossing I'm going across interstate 26 a road that I have traveled many many times on my way to work when I lived in this part of the world but uh a lot of noise, a lot of construction going on. They're actually putting a new bridge in here. So, uh, pretty wild. I'll show you. Yeah, there's the interstate. They just keep coming. That's coming from Asheville, headed toward Hendersonville. And then, I don't know if you can see them, but over there on the top of that bridge, there's some guys standing, doing some work. They got a little drone flying overhead. I suppose that's for safety, so they can keep an eye on them workers. But I'm going to jump off here. See if I. All right, I've come to another landmark. I'm crossing Highway 25, Hendersonville Highway. That's looking toward Hendersonville. That's where I came from. I'll be going and that's headed back into Asheville right at Biltmore so I'm gonna head on and get off this bridge I'm out all right guys time for another check-in uh, just after I crossed the bridge there at uh, Highway 25, I was going to take a pack-off break and uh, just sit there and have some water and relax for a few minutes, get the weight off for just a few. And uh, right after I came off the bridge, I noticed behind a tree there was about five or six bags of trash. Um, and I looked around and what appeared to be a little homeless setup just over in the woods. Uh, I guess that's a pretty busy 
highway, so it's easy to get to. But uh, I felt uneasy, didn't want to hang around there, so I decided to go ahead and walk a little bit further. I'm not that tired, I just, uh, just don't want to get that way, so I was going to take a break. I'm going to do that in about another half mile, but where I'm at now is just absolutely amazing. Um, let me show you. That's where I came from. And it looks to be an old service road of some sort. But uh, it comes down and uh, fairly level. When it does go up, it's slight. When it goes down, it's uh, gentle. So I'm not sure. I mean, it runs to a dead end out there where the trail came back in conjunction with it, but I'm not sure where it'll come out. But just really nice walking. Uh, can still hear the parkway just off to my right, but uh, couldn't ask for better weather. Not too hot, not too cold. Uh, just a slight breeze blowing. So, uh, yeah. Just a beautiful day at God's creation. And uh, I've already gone uh, right at six miles, so I just got about four miles left on what I had planned to do today, but if the walking continues to be this easy, I may try to make it a few extra miles, shorten up my distance tomorrow, and be able to drive home tomorrow evening. Try to beat the storm, get back home before the rain comes. Because uh, that rain from a hurricane Ian, I think, is supposed to be getting in their area early Friday morning. And I'd like to be at home for that. All right. If I see something cool, I'll show you that again later. I'm out. All right, guys, I finally found me a little place to sit down here and take a break. It's still too early for lunch, so I had me a little snack, a few M&Ms, and um, pineapple, dehydrated pineapples. So good for a little energy, but uh, the trail has continued to be really nice, and uh, I've made, I've only got three more miles than what I had planned to do today, and it's not even... Um, not even 11 o'clock yet, so I'm going to knock that out by lunchtime. I'll probably stop where I was planning to finish the day and have lunch, and then I think I'm going to go on and hike, you know, another three, four miles, maybe five. If I do, that'll put me down to um, just over five miles hike tomorrow to be to where I wanted to be, uh, Rattlesnake Lodge. Um, and that's where I plan to end uh, this trip. So, um, it's been a really good day so far. Um, as I said, the weather's great. Um, when I took my pack off, um, my back was sweating, and of course, this uh, cool breeze has uh, made me a little chilly. But uh, I'm getting ready to put it back on and get back to walking. And so uh, that won't last long. So uh, anyway, um, if I see anything else, I'll, I'll come back on and show it to you. All right, I'm out. All right, I'm sitting here next to a stream. I said when I crossed the last stream but the next water source I came to I was going to drink all the water that I had and 
fill them back up. Because uh, even though they did pretty well yesterday, I got a little dehydrated. So I'm getting ready to drink this and uh, drink what I've got and then filter me some water. And after that, I'll show you what the stream looks like. I got somebody coming down the trail. All right, I'm out. All right. I'm crossing uh, Charlotte Highway, Highway 74. Uh, you're looking back toward Interstate 40 and Asheville. That's where I came from. That's looking again back toward Henderson County. And this is the way I'm going. All right, a lot of traffic here off this bridge. Alright guys, I'm here where I had planned to stop for the day, but it's just about one o'clock and according to the sign over here, it's 3.1 miles to the Folk Art Center. And so I made a decision that I am going to go ahead and try to make it from here to the Folk Art Center and that'll take three miles off of the 10 that I was going to do yesterday so that'll just leave me with seven miles to get to the Rattlesnake Lodge. But while I was here I decided I'd have lunch so um, I've taken my knee braces off and I've taken my shoes off letting everything get some air I just took some something for pain and inflammation, but um, I'm gonna have me a couple of uh, peanut butter and jelly tortilla sandwiches, and that should hold me, give me a little energy to make it the rest of the way. So. try to probably sit here about 45 minutes to an hour I'm no rush so uh, I know you guys don't want to watch me eat, so I'll go ahead and check out for now but uh, I'll see you when I'm back on the trail all right and I'm out all right I've been walking about a mile since uh, I had lunch it means I got about two left to be through for the day but I just came across the uh, third huge power line right away of the day. And I'm getting ready before too much longer to cross Probably the fourth major highway. Started out, I crossed Highway 26, walked on down, but that's Interstate 26, walked on down, crossed Highway 25, Sweet and Creek Road, kept going, crossed over. 74, which is Hendersonville Highway. So the next big highway I'm coming up on is Interstate 40. So uh, lots of roads. I can hear it pretty close. So I think I'm getting pretty close to going to be crossing it. But I've also crossed one major river, and that was a French Broad. And if I'm not mistaken, before I finish today, 
I'll be crossing the Swannanoa River, so that's another major river. So, power lines, highways, and rivers. It's been pretty cool. It's been a great day. All right, I'm out. All right, I had to stop here for just a second, and uh, I was getting worried because Interstate 40 is right in front of me. There's uh, the parkway bridge to my left. Let me show you that. Yeah. So over there where you see those cars going is a parkway bridge. And down there is Interstate 40. And I'm going down. And uh, I thought I needed to cross 40, but pulled out the app and apparently uh, there is a underpass so I have to go to the underpass and then back up to the parkway cross that and then not long after that is when I cross the Swannanoa River so it's always good to have maps and resources because uh I thought I was getting off trail, but after checking it, I'm doing just fine. So, anyway, let me get off here and go down this hill. I'm out. All right, guys, here's the Swannanoa River. Not quite as wide as the uh, French Broad. It sure does look low. But that's it. Just crossed a railroad, came under the interstate right up there, crossed the railroad track, coming across this bridge. It's a parkway bridge you see there to the left. And now I gotta go through a couple of uh, cattle gates before I get to climb back up, so. I suppose maybe people have cattle in here. But this is the way we go. Almost couldn't get my backpack through there. Yeah, we just went under the parkway. I don't see any cattle in here. Gotta pay close attention, no look for yellow jackets. Look at that beautiful blue sky. I see another round white blaze here on the bottom. The path is worn pretty good. There must be a lot of people going through here. Thankful for the landowner that allowed the, tra the trail to pass through this pasture. And it's just got high health of it. Don't see any evidence of animals at all. And you can see just up here ahead of me. It is the other style. And I am going to uh, get off here and use both hands that last one was kind of tight hopefully this one will be a little bit better all right guys i'm out all right i'm right now crossing over another highway that i didn't realize was coming so that's about five major roads now this is highway 70 um, I'm looking east and what you see behind me is uh, headed back west into Asheville so um, I got about eight tenths of a mile to finish up today all right I'm out
All right, guys, I thought I'd take just a minute to wrap up today. Um, I'm back here at Pat's. He picked me up uh, at the Folk, Folk Art Center. And uh, we came back to his house, and uh, he cooked us up a good meal. We had brats and tater tots, and they were pretty good after a long day. Um, did 13.7 miles today. Um, felt pretty good. Knees are really hurting, but, uh, you know, that's to be expected. <clears throat> I ended up walking further than what I was planning on it, but, uh, you know, that's that just means I have a shorter day tomorrow, uh, day three. Um, plan to start, I plan to start back at the Folk Art Center, Art Center and go up to uh, uh, Rattlesnake Lodge and then... Uh, head on home so um that's it uh check out and i'll be back with you in the morning all right i'm out